Customers are out thousands of dollars after the Better Business Bureau says someone posted online impersonating a legitimate business in Clemens. WFMI News 2's Amber Lake spoke to the business owner impacted. Golden Dreams Trailers takes pride in their company. The owner told me that it's their name being drugged through the mud after someone impersonated them. A company took the pictures of their trailers, posted them online for sale, and it resulted in customers out thousands of dollars. I've had several people come onto my Facebook page and just, you know, call me a scammer. Business owner in Clemens, Karen Spangler. It upsets us because we worked really hard to have a good business and a good reputation. Trying to save Golden Dreams trailer's reputation after someone pretending to be them scammed her customers out of thousands. It happened the end of September. Uh, we were actually uh, selling a trailer and we had the North Davidson police department show up. Officers told Spangler that someone was using the Golden Dreams trailer's address as their own. The Better Business Bureau now involved. And we learned from her that the imposter seller was using her pictures and her address. And then using those pictures, he was getting deposits from consumers. According to the BBB, Williams trailer source, now Sam's trailer sales is fake after finding Spangler's pictures were found on this new Facebook page. In total, Spangler says she knows of $3,700 that was taken from customers. I hate it that other people are losing money by doing this and they're not going to be able to get that money back. And it's hard, money's hard to come by. The BBB sent out an email and called Williams trailer source, nothing. So right now, the best advice, know exactly who you're dealing with. Customers should also pay with a credit card and take extra precaution while online and see if pictures posted are watermarked with the company's logo. In Clemens, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2. You can report a scam on the Better Business Bureau's website or go to BBB.org or WFMYNews2.com. We'll have the details in the article for this story.